Yeshua is returning here. This is the place where he's going to put his foot, the Mount of Olives. And you better know that if I am here, I am going to put on my jogging shoes and I'm going to be here first. I'm going to run and be here when he returns. But my question to you today is, what are we going to do up to then? He's not coming back right now. So what will happen in the coming few months, years? We don't know when he's coming back. What should we be doing right now while we are waiting for his return? I want to take you somewhere and let's speak about this. Yeshua is coming back, that is a fact. I have no doubt in my mind. But what are we to do in the meantime? We have to wait, right? Well, are we to wait passively or how should we wait? We're standing here in the valley of the Dead Sea at a place called Qumran. And this place gives us a good indication of what we should be doing. Here were a group of guys by the name of Yachad. They were Essenes and they separated themselves. They put themselves to a side from civilization to say, we will prepare for the coming of the Messiah. This is 2000 years ago. They were here at the time that Yeshua came. But we don't see that they are the disciples. We don't see that they are the guys who were ready for Yeshua's coming. So they prepared themselves in some way, but maybe not in the right way. They prepared themselves in a beautiful way, according to me. They separated them, spending time in the Word, writing scrolls, taking mikvah, taking some ritual baths, but they were preparing themselves for a war. They were preparing themselves for a great Messiah, a King to come and rebel against the Romans, to take this heavy burden of the Romans, the Roman Empire, the Roman Kingdom, away from the Jewish people. And we know that's not what Yeshua came to do. Yeshua came and did something much greater. He took away the yoke, this heavy burden of sin and death. And now you and I can be free. He did a spiritual thing, not a physical thing of being a king that fought in battles. He fought an eternal battle, a spiritual battle. So these guys missed Yeshua. They missed the Messiah. They missed him because their idea of what he was about to do was wrong. They were here at the right place in Israel at the right time, but they had the wrong idea of what he was going to do. So we as believers, we believe Yeshua is coming back, right? We believe he's coming back with a certain goal, a certain purpose to fetch us maybe, to come and make war perhaps. We have this picture of Armageddon, him on his white horse. But what is your expectation, your personal expectation of his return? I think there's only one true expectation we should have, and it's in a biblical expectation, an expectation that comes from the book of Revelation, an expectation that comes from the book of Matthew. And that expectation that we should have is he is coming back to fetch his bride. In Revelation 19, we read, Let us rejoice and be glad for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. That is what we should be expecting. Yeshua is coming back to get his bride. But what should we do in the meantime? Sit around? No, no, no. We should be preparing ourselves as the bride. This is what we read in Revelation 19, that the bride has made herself ready. We are to equip ourselves and prepare ourselves as the bride. And scripture tells us what we are to do. We are to walk in righteousness, in deeds of righteousness, preparing ourselves, clothing ourselves with this white fine linen, because Yeshua is coming back for a bride not for a war, but for a bride that was made ready for his return. So my question to you here at this place at Qumran, is 
what are you expecting of the Mashiach? Are you expecting him for war? Or are you expecting him to return to fetch his bride? And if you say, yes, I am expecting him to return to fetch his bride, then I say, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself in the right way that you might not miss him because he is coming back. It is real, it is true, he's coming back. But we need to get ready for his return. Not only ourselves, but also we need to help others and equip others so that they can get ready as the bride, so that they can also have these deeds of righteousness, this white fine linen. When we are standing here, we need to be serious about his return. It's not sitting around saying, I believe in him. They're saying, I believe in him, so I will do something about it. Hey.